Uh, welcome to Unused YouTube. Today I'm going to try and fold this. So I already started this to see if it would even work, but uh, so I'm going to show you what I did. This is to fold a book to where it looks like words. Um, all I did was I used the paint uh, canvas that's on my computer and I just used the um, text key and I typed out what I wanted and then I went by about two pixels I think and just deleted every other two pixels so that I'd have two pixels, a blank space, and then two pixels and that seemed to work out pretty well I'm pretty sure all you'd have to do if you want to make the word the words bigger so that it takes up more pages is just to shorten the amount that you uh, uh, cut so instead of taking um two every two pixels just take every one pixel so that you have more pages you would have to use to create the uh, word and that's pretty much it and and it just becomes a little repetitive and mind-numbing, but eventually, you get done. <laughs> I'm going to show you the entire U, and then I'm going to speed it up for the rest of the letters. So that you can see what it looks like, what I'm doing, and then you don't need to sit through and watch me do every single letter. It was my numbing enough just to try and do it. I'm sure no one wants to sit through a good half an hour of me trying to edit it out. So. All you need to do is to print it out, or at least what I do, is um, I control copy it and I paste it into a Word document. And then I just get the dimensions right, and then I just print it out. And that's all. Okay, so this is the um, printed version. So I counted each and every line, and I got the approximate 261 pages. Um, and I think it came pretty close. One thing that I did mess up though, is... I counted each page 
I use the numbers on the top left of the book. Top left and right. You know, the page numbers. The problem with that is, that counts as every two pages. So I wound up being shy on this book. So I had to start over on a completely different book, because there wasn't enough pages in this book. As it turned out, so... I eventually... switch out... the books. You'll notice eventually. In here. But, um... Everything else besides this would still be fine to use, to follow if you wanted to. So you get it lined up. I typically go along the bottom. It works the best. So you line the page, the bottom of both pages up, and then you go on from there. Then you just fold the page down to the top of the line that you're going for. And then you take the bottom of the page and fold it up to the line on the top. And you don't have to be exact. It'll look fine. I just tried to be fairly exact for this video. And once you go... Once you're just doing it by, by yourself and not uh, filming, it really doesn't take long to do. It's uh... It was still pretty quick to do it, even with having to deal with the camera. So it wasn't bad. So that's all you do. And then, you just repeat that for every line in the wood. So, that's that. One thing you do want to note is when you get to a page, to um, letters that have, where the right on top of each other, where the lines are right on top of each other, um, I typically go with the top one first, you fold to that line, and then you fold to the bottom line as well, on a separate sheet of paper. So the first page goes to the top of the letter, and then the next page goes to the bottom of the letter. And you'll see it in here, eventually I have it where there's three pages, so three lines all straight up and down, and so you start at the top, and then you go to the middle, and then to the bottom. And you'll see examples in here, um, they're not going to be slowed down, but it should be easy to follow anyway. 